Keshar here and today I'm going to show you how to cook dampukhtak. Dampukhtak is a very ancient uh, rice. Uh, sta yeah, the rice that we cook it's cooked with yellow fava beans, dry fava beans and rice. And uh, you can get the uh, dry beans from any international market. That's how they sell it. And uh, I have used uh, three cups of uh, rice, one and a half cup of uh, uh, yellow dry uh, fava beans. Uh, this is the proportionate that you need to use anytime you want to uh, cook. And I am got some about half a cup of oil in the pan. I've got one large onion chopped finely. So I'm going to fry the onion. While the onion is cooking, I'm going to wash uh, the beans. Like I showed you with rice, the way you wash it, you just take the brown parts out another couple times. And now I'm going to wash my rice. So what we do is, as soon as the onion is uh, ready, I'm going to add the beans. Let the bean, and then after five minutes, I'm going to add the rice. We yeah, are ready. Okay. We are going to use also two tablespoons of uh, turmeric. Two teaspoons of salt. and just a little bit of pepper I add in mine. Now this is going to take some time to really fry. Sometimes I also add a little bit of saffron to my dampukhtak. Dampukhtak is, uh, as I said, it's a sort of a comfort food and uh, we serve it either, either with uh, uh, fried onion on top, which I'm going to mix the onion with it or uh, you can serve it with uh, yogurt and also fried eggs. That's normally how they serve it in Iran. Today I'm going to just uh, serve it with yogurt and uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to add uh, the beans uh, to the fried onions and then I would add about uh, four, uh, five cups of uh, water then after uh, uh, 10 minutes, I'm going to add the rice and then I'll also add another four cups of uh, water and uh, let it uh, cook on a high heat uh, or medium high uh, with no cover. And uh, this is the type of a uh, rice that you do not drain. Uh, you just uh, let it uh, evaporate, let the water evaporate and that's why it's very essential to know how many cups of water you use. Uh, so what you do is uh, this rice is not a fluffy rice 
and I'm also going to cook it in a uh, uh, in a way that uh, uh, you uh, when you dish it, uh, yeah, it would be, uh, probably I can flip it over. I will try that to show you how to do that. Okay. The onion doesn't really need to uh, brown it as long as it's goldish yellow, uh, that would be fine. I let it do a little bit more. While I'm doing this, uh, I would like to talk to you about, uh, you know, the things that happens in my life and uh, uh, we can discuss the incidents and all that. Uh, a few days ago I had uh, an incident that as I told you I uh, go to the club and uh, as I was uh, getting ready to go and work out I saw a gentleman next to me uh, who inspired me so much and I noticed him, uh, he was taking off his shoes. I noticed that there was something different. Then I noticed that he doesn't have one leg and one of his leg is just one of these uh, uh, fiberglass and uh, metal legs. And he had such a self-confidence and uh, he was so proud of who he was that uh, this deficiency of his uh, did not uh, uh, block uh, his personality and I was so impressed with that. Then I, it reminded me of so many of us who the smallest deficiency uh, would embarrass us. And that was something that uh, even though that he had nothing to do with, uh, probably he had that accident or something, but he was big enough to understand that, that these, uh, what, we are, what we see outside really has nothing to do with uh, who we are inside. So <clears throat> that was my lesson of that day. I'm gonna add the beans. I said I'm gonna add two cups of water. That's about two cups. And I'm gonna cover this and let it cook for five minutes or so, then I'm gonna add the rice. And then after I add the rice, I would add a little bit more oil if it's needed. And then let it sit and uh, the, I would cover it as I normally do with my rice and What I'm going to do, I'm going to add the water to the rice. I'm going to show you this because you need to know about how much water for this. This is right now probably about, as you see, a little bit over maybe one tenth of an inch or something that has covered the water, uh, the rice. This is how much water. You get the bowl, you put the water, uh, rice in and then cover it. You need to have that much water in it. That's with any type of rice? With any type of rice. I normally always use basmati rice, long grain basmati rice. Huh? Okay. And then, now you always have a chance to add more water if you need to. But I'm going to cover this. As soon as it starts boiling, the water starts boiling, I'm going to take the lid off and uh, let it boil. How do we know if we need more water? Because uh, when this, as you see, 
I said this is the type of a uh, rice that it doesn't need to be fluffy and you'll see uh, that your you know the rice is done uh, by the time the water is if the water has evaporated and there is no more water you'll notice that uh, the rice isn't properly cooked then then you add a little water I think uh, this is going to be enough water for this rice but as I told you, I'm going to do it because I want to flip it over. So the way I'm, what I'm going to do as, as soon as this is done a bit, then I'm going to put some in another pot and I will show you how I did do that. So, so when yeah. When it comes to boil, you take the... Yes, when it comes to boil, I take the lid off and let the water evaporate. And it stays that way? That's it, stays that way and then I uh, will come back and I'll show you how uh, I will uh, let the water steam the rice. Thank you.